students today we are going to see about information processing system it is first we are going to see what do you mean by computer computer is an electronic machine that follow a set of instruction in order that it may be able to accept and gather the data and transform these into information so the data will be converted into information functions of information processing accept and gather the data process the data to become information it store and the data and information present the information there are three major components of the information processing system hardware software peopleware hardware is a part of a computer system software is a how the computer to do the job peopleware refer to people who use and operate the computer system writing programs analyze and design the information system the basic unit of measurement bit bit is nothing but binary digit it is a unit of information equivalent to the result of a choice between only two possible alternatives in the binary number system byte is a sequence of eight bits processed as a single unit for information basic unit of measurement a byte can be used to represent a single character which can be a letter number special character or symbol a space it is an example the basic unit of measurements so 1000 bytes equal to 1 kilobyte 1000 kilobytes equal to 1 megabyte 1000 megabyte equal to 1 gigabyte 1000 gigabyte equal to 1 terabyte so next we are going to see hardware what is hardware hardware is a part of a computer system so these are the parts hardware So it contains central processing unit memory unit input and output devices secondary storage devices the central processing unit is the brain of the computer it controls the entire computer system and perform all the arithmetic and logical operations it is a memory unit it consists of ram and rom read only memory and random access memory contains a pre programmed computer instruction such as the basic input and output system random memory is used to store the programs and the data that you will run on that and next we are going to see what are all the input devices and the output devices the input devices keyboard mouse joystick microphone webcam scanner and the monitor the keyboard it is a traditional flexible keyboard ergon keyboard wireless keyboard pda keyboard also there there are two types of mouse mechanical and optical mouse and other point input were trackball track point touch pad and touch screen joystick light pens stylus scanning devices image capturing devices oh, and next we are going to see about output devices so the media is used by the computer is displaying its response to our request and instructions these are called the output devices monitor audio speakers and the printer there are types of monitor crt and the lcd printers it divided into two types impact and non impact printers the impact printers uses the pressure by physically striking the papers examples daisy wheel and dot matrix printers non impact printer does not apply the pressure on the papers but instead produce a character by using the laser so that is known as a non impact printer and next secondary devices attached to the computer system to allow you to store the programs and data permanently for the purpose of retrieving them for future use floppy disk hard disk and cd ram thank you